So we've had remarkably few infections on the Berkeley campus up until um, about 10 days ago when we did have a, a cluster of cases uh, apparently linked to uh, 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 students primarily uh, attending a social function uh, at a fraternity house or actually probably a couple of different parties. It clearly reinforces what many people already knew, uh, which is that this is not going to be easy uh, and that changing the behaviors of large numbers of young, generally healthy people uh, is, is going to be very difficult. If they don't show good judgment um, and, and follow the kinds of prevention strategies we think are important, uh, then, then we're very likely to have problems because I'm sure the virus is still going to be circulating in the community in the months ahead. The real question is, can, can scaled back versions, like what we're trying to do at Berkeley, how successful can they be? Because the reality is, I think most administrators would tell you that the only thing worse than not bringing people back is bringing people people back and having to close everything down again a few weeks later. Like I said, it's going to be it's just going to be a dangerous situation no matter what. Um, I think that life is life has got a lot of danger. And Normally, there are clubs and stuff and other social activities that students can do, but when everyone is at home, and then they're just taking online class, it, it just get, creates kind of this unhealthy situation where you you don't you don't really interact with anybody. What really helps you understand the subject is talking to your peers and talking to your GSIs and your professor, and that's what allows you to understand it. If you just try to learn it yourself, well, I mean, if you're a real genius, yeah, you can do that.